Hi guys. Hi guys. Bye. Hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey. Taking a pose. Hi guys. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my Aveeno uh, moisturizer I use every day. It's the Positively Ageless, so I just kind of put it all over my face and just rub it in gently with my fingers. Making sure to just kind of distribute it evenly and possibly in more places that I feel are a little bit dry. I'll put a little bit more, just depending on how my skin's feeling that day. feel it's fully rubbed in I'll just let it sit for maybe a minute and just let it do its thing so while I'm waiting I'm just gonna run through my hair brush out any knots or tangles because this is my bedhead and I was like it's looking kind of decent <laughs> so now I'm using my Outlast CoverGirl lip stain in the shade Saucy Plum it's actually a lot darker than what I've been using for my regular everyday lipstick, but I actually kind of like the change, so I've been using it. Basically what I do is kind of use it as like a lip liner and do the outsides first, just like trace my lip line and then go to the bottom and do the other thing. What I like about this is it's almost like a marker, so it's actually really easy to glide on, and you don't really have to worry about, you know, your brush moving out of place or anything. It's basically like just coloring on some paper. And I'm just filling in my lips with the same color. And I have a top lip. stick foundation and I start off with under my eyes because sometimes I have dark circles and then around my nose to get rid of any redness and then I just use it kind of like a contouring agent down in the center of my nose at the top of my cheekbones and right at my jawline then once I've finished that I do some on my chin and then a little bit on my cupid's bow Now I'm just taking my fingertips and lightly tapping that in so it blends into my skin and there's no harsh lines. Especially around my eyes to make sure that they're nice and blended and there's no darkness or doesn't look like I'm tired. <laughs> in any of the areas that stick out of your face that the sun would hit. And now I'm just using a really light shade to, uh, to match my skin that will just set that foundation. And now I'm just using a uh, average brown pencil and not wanting, uh, lining my waterline but more, uh, more lining the actual lash line. And then I bring it up on the top but just on the outer corner. Now I'm using a black eyeliner and doing the same thing except I'm sticking really close to my lash line and I'm not bringing it as far out as I did the brown. Now I'm just taking the light shade again and putting that all over my eyelid to open up my eyes. And now I'm just using a darker brown shade from that palette putting it on my crease and just kind of blending it up towards my eyebrow a little bit just to give my eyelids some warmth and a little bit of depth in the crease. Now I'm using that lighter shade to kind of blend out what I just did with that brown because I don't want any harsh lines today. Now I'm just using the lightest of the browns that are in that and I'm using it as a contour color. I 
start with my cheeks by making a cute fish face. <laughs> then I do my temples and under my jawline. Once I finish with that brown, I go back in with the lighter shade and just really blend that out to make it uh, no harsh lines or anything, just so it looks like an actual natural contour. And again, just brushing out some tangles. touches with a straightener and I forgot that I had some leftover hairspray in my hair so it was kind of stiff on uh, by my face right there but oh well and now I am just using some mascara as a finishing touch because I had almost forgotten ready with me guys and I hope you enjoyed the look and I hope you guys had a good day. Mwah. Love you. Bye.